So I'm here at the Natural History Museum in Dublin, and here to help me out is another Irish YouTuber, which is MC Loves to Laugh. Hello. She likes to hang out in floors. Yes. So we decided to kind of have a bit of a wander around and let you guys know a little bit about each animal we find. We know all about the animals, kind of, not really. Not at all. We're gonna try and figure it out. <laughs> so we're gonna presume, you know, we're gonna, and there's a stampede of people walking by. That's part of the experience. Yeah, they're um, like elks. And they're part of the exhibit. That's it. <laughs> they stay here. A lot of presumptions. We're gonna not even debate if they're true or not. We're probably right. I think some of them are alive. Fun yeah, fact. Most of them are alive. <laughs> That's it. And even the ones with like no bodies. Yeah, they're fine. They're okay. They're good. That's, yeah. They're you can survive with walls. just your head. That's a known fact. Here's a couple of the things we found in the museum. So this deer in particular is known as uh, Maximus Gluteus Maximus. I don't know what that translates to in English, but uh, I'm pretty sure it just means deer. And it's, it's somewhat large. This right here is the famous existential crisis badger, native to Ireland. Uh, it's noted for pondering life and all its misgivings. It's also known to uh, eat a lot of rabbits. So this is the East Dublin ape. Uh, it's known for being in a constant state of worrying if it left the stove on or not. Um, that's kind of the main reason why it died out. Eventually it evolved against that instinct, then left the stove on and the entire species burned in a house fire about uh, three years ago. So the average seagull in Ireland eats about 3,000 chips a day. And look at your little baby baby, look at your babies. Oh, they're so cute. Look at your little crab, they're so cute. Oh, look at the baby. So this is actually uh, an Irish alligator. Uh, this one in particular was decapitated by uh, Brian Baru in 1784. Um, it took about three days for him to finish it off because this one in particular wouldn't die when it's decapitated. It was like a worm. Uh, so it actually split into two alligators and it was the second one that killed him. It's called a frying pan fish. When they're young, they have a ceremony in which the mamas slap the babies against the wall of the sea so they kind of smush up like a little frying pan, I guess where the name comes from. And when they swim, they kind of swim like this so they can see what's going on, but um, underneath they kind of just flop in their bellies. It's kind of an awkward kind of thing, you know. Just... So this is the, the live bird exhibit of the museum. It was great until they kind of like they didn't poke holes for air, so it's not so great anymore. Um. Fun fact: the brown hair was actually originally ginger, but fell self-conscious with the other rabbits and to dye his hair brown. And now he lives in Ireland with all the other brown rabbits and hairs. So this is Pepper. She's a Gemini. She likes long swims on the beach, uh, romance novels. And not so much into the salt water anymore because she's actually a dead fish. So what most people don't know is that uh, woolly mammoths tend to be scaled to the size of the country they live in. So naturally enough, Ireland's uh, mammoths tend to be smaller. Uh, another fun fact is that woolly mammoths um, in Ireland have plastic coating over them because of the rain. I know the wool would get kind of a little bit soggy. Uh, also, um, they're really small in case I didn't, you know, they're small. So what most people don't realise about Irish lions is that uh, they tend to dissolve when they get wet. Hence why the lion population in Africa is far higher because of the lower levels of rainfall. Where, uh, as you can see here, this one is in the process of dissolving. Um, luckily, I think they saved them just in time. Although it doesn't seem to be breathing, so... Maybe not. So the National Museum of Ireland is home to the largest collection of live ferrets in the country. And you'll see here we've uh, there's the beaked ferret and the long beaked ferret and, and the winged ferret. Um, they could be ducks actually. No, I'm pretty sure the ferrets. Here we have the natives to Ireland only relaxing box. Um, these are, there's only maybe 3,000 of these left in the wild. Uh, this one in particular, it's a really rare case in that uh, they found it when it was in the middle of eating a beetle, uh, which is its natural food source, and uh, it had actually choked, and that's the current state it's in. So the museum kind of closed immediately after that last shot, so we kind of had to leave straight away, and we kind of just went home straight after. So we completely forgot to do like an outro clip, so this is it. I want to say a big thanks to MC Loves to Laugh for helping me out with this video. She's probably one of my favorite Irish YouTubers. She puts up a lot of comedy and stuff. I definitely recommend going to check out her channel and maybe subscribing if you like her content. If any of you at home have any random facts about animals, feel free to put them in the comment section below and we can have a chat about it. Let me know what you thought of this video over Twitter. You can find me on Facebook. Uh, 
Uh, it should be popping up on the screen right now if I if I do it properly. There'll be a link to Mary Claire's channel right about here, say? Definitely go have a look. That's all for this video, so thanks for watching guys.